Welcome to Fusion 5 Radio with your host, Fusion 5 CEO, Rainy Busby. Welcome back to Fusion 5 Radio. I'm Rainy Busby, your host here with Mark Dildine. And we've been talking about stress and all kinds of uh, leadership characteristics and and callings and unique abilities and all kinds of fun stuff. So um, we're getting ready to head into a little bit of the educational part of our program. Yeah, you're going to be turning around and uh, and sharing uh, a little bit of wisdom. And, of course, uh, these little lessons that Randy does, we, we always put on YouTube and also on the sites and whatnot. You can always tune in if you don't catch it. Uh, so right now, may I present to you, Rainy Busby. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, so I thought a good place to start today, and it's one of the practices that I work with many small and uh, medium-sized businesses on, and it's really helping them to assess where they are, right? So in order for us to improve, we need to understand where we are today. And so what I thought I would do is run through, I have kind of 12 areas that... Um, I think are key to doing things like building your vision. Where are you going? How are you going to get there, right? Understanding uh, traction, which is executing. You know, how are you going to execute on this plan that we just built? We want to be this in 10 years. We want to look like this in three years. Okay, that's great, but how are we going to get there? So the true execution of that vision. And then overall, really having a very healthy, cohesive, trusting leadership team that can help lead the organization to where we need to go. So the first thing we need to talk about is clarity of vision, right? So understanding what do we want to be in 10 years or seven years or 15 years or whatever that is, what are your dreams? And then let's paint that picture of what we look like three years from now. And then let's put together that one year plan and then work 90 day cycles to be able to achieve that one year plan. And then every year, we kind of look at it again and again. But what's most important is that it's not just the leadership team that knows about the vision. Everybody knows about it. Like it's followed by all. It's part of how we do business. It's part of how we communicate as an organization. So that's very important. And then we talk a little bit about core values. And so I, I challenge you to say, have you clearly defined what your core values are? And then with the core values, I ask you um, to take those into consideration because that's really what makes up your culture. So when we talk about culture, it's like the culture of a village, right? It's how we make decisions. It's how we treat each other. It's um, how we speak to each other, the way we we um, interact. That's really culture. And when we build organizations, groups, businesses, whatever it is, we want to make sure that the people we bring in are going to fit our culture. If they don't, then we don't need to be bringing them in because the wrong person keeps chipping away at your culture until your culture is changed into something that you don't want it to be. So I challenge you to say, do you know what your culture is and do you have the right people that align to that culture? Processes are very important, or systems. This is how we do business. This is how we we, um, provide services. This is how we um, deliver products. This is how we sell. This is how we... um, do operations, whatever it is. These are the processes of business or processes of an organization. So it's very, very outlined. And so I challenge, do you really have those things documented, at least at a high level, so that everybody is doing things the same way? There's nothing worse than people going in different directions. And then next, um, knowing what we're trying to attract. So having clarity in your market, having clarity in Um, you know, what type of a person would fit well in your organization. So, um, you know, I don't necessarily help you achieve that, but I will speak to that and align to those characteristics. So if you have a widget you're trying to sell, do you know the market that would be most apt to buy that widget? I think that's an easy way to explain that. And then also, the fifth thing is really everybody knowing clearly what they're responsible for. Do you know 50% of people have no idea what's expected of them at work? That is just crazy. 
And so we need to know what's expected of each person in the organization. And so getting clarity on how all those areas of responsibility so you don't have people doing the same task or doing the same job, and then you start to get conflict, and then it gets real messy, and then you know, stress begins. So how are you doing in that area? And then I ask you, is your group organization, culture company, what have you, open, honest, and do you trust each other to do the right thing? And this is so, so, so important. And usually where most organizations just go sideways because they really don't trust the people that they're working with. And this is so important for your leadership team. They have to be open. They have to put things out there. They have to identify the, the elephant in the room and talk about it. And they have to learn to trust each other. So that's really important. And then we talk about getting, uh, you know, executing on that vision strategy. We need to be able to get clarity in what is everybody going to work on to contribute to that objective. So do we have goals and initiatives that are assigned to each person so that we can collectively head in that direction? So we call them rocks, but they're basically, you know, base, this is what I'm going to work on for the next 90 days. And this is how I'm contributing to our ability to su successfully execute on our vision. And then uh, one of the, this is this is always a good one, but um, I always ask people, do you love to go to meetings? And they're like, are you kidding me? Because most meetings are just painful. You know, where there's no structure. We don't have an agenda. People show up late. We have to repeat ourselves. We, we keep talking about the same things over and over again. Nothing gets resolved. We end late. It's just very frustrating for many people. So we teach how to have a very successful, directed, uh, you know, outlined meeting where people like to come to because they get jazzed They're like, yeah, we're making progress. And it's really a status. Where are we at? What's going on? What's next? Any fires and moving on. So that's a very exciting and very critical piece of your business. And then number nine, how to truly resolve issues. So a lot of times what we see is leadership teams, they spend most of their time talking about an issue, but very seldom do they ever solve the issue. And they also sometimes are challenged at really understanding what is the real issue. Is it a symptom of another issue or is that really the issue we're trying to solve? And when we dig down deep enough, and it is a skill, you need to build it up over time, but we call it IDSing. So how do you identify clearly what those issues are, discuss them so that everybody has a chance to contribute, and then finally go into the solution stage and, and ending that problem or that issue once and for all. You want to talk about a huge st stress reducer? That'll do it right there. Being open to feedback, whether you're getting feedback from your customers, your employees, your parishioners, it doesn't matter, but you need to be open to feedback, always asking what's working, what's not working, right, so that we can make sure that we're staying in tune with, with uh, the communication that's coming back. Scorecards are very important, right? We need to be able to track our progress, you know, be able to track success so we know it's leading indicators, not the lagging indicators, so we can make changes quickly if something goes sideways. And then finally, clear metrics for everyone. So everyone needs to know the measure that they have that they're going to be held accountable to so they know when they're successful as well. So those are your, kind of your broad brush top 12 to help you get clarity and vision, executing that vision, which we call traction, and then finally, the result is having a great, healthy leadership team that'll lead us to the future and to success. Now, I tell you, it's it's fascinating uh, doing this program because we're we're covering issues and situations that people don't normally hear right. on Christian radio, and uh, that's really a, the uniqueness of this program. And I really do appreciate that. But you know what? With as in all things, it must come to an end. Go oh, so fast, I know, but it's been great. Thanks for spending the day with us, or at least this half hour. Be blessed, and we'll talk to you all next week. Be blessed. Talk to you soon. Hello, friends. If you're enjoying our program, Fusion 5 Radio with Rainy Busby, let us know by going to fusion5radio.com and emailing us. Rainy wants to encourage you to write to her with any questions or comments that you may have. That web address, again, is fusion5radio.com fusion5radio.com Rainy wants to help you be more productive in business and ministry by sharing with you each week how to get your life back through simple practical steps. fusion5radio.com Write to us. Join us next week. Be blessed.